you know, I teach a lot of people in the new artist model the approach and idea that you've got to really try and find the next thing. Uh, you know, for classical musicians, I would say uh, try and uh, bend your genre into a new genre, if you will. I, I look at like the prog rock bands of the 70s, bands like Yes and Genesis and Gentle Giant that were very, very popular and very successful. Those were classical guys coming into the rock world, reinventing a genre, and they made a huge impact. Think of the impact that Yes and Genesis have had on you know, music around the world. The other thing I would look at is uh, what are trends that you can ride in the future? Uh, something that I'm starting to study now is what's happening with virtual reality. Uh, Google is coming out with this product called Oculus Rift, and they also have this other thing called Google Cardboard, where you put your phone on this little cardboard rig and put it up and you get virtual reality from your phone. You can make music that you can walk around in, in the very near future, and that's a whole new outlet and avenue for music and a, and a kind of music that you know, didn't exist, doesn't really exist. And I'd look for ideas like that, because you want to try and find the trends and write them and maybe be ahead of the trend if you want to do something really cool. DIY is a myth. You can't do it yourself. It's a disservice to the musician community, I think, to talk about DIY. It's so hard to do all the things that you need to do as an artist to create your art and to bring yourself to market that you really need a team around yourself. And I think that if you acknowledge and understand that right off the bat, that you'll be better off. Because you can't do everything, so you need to focus on what you can do and what you want to do, and then figure out what else is missing and how do you attract people that can do those things that you either are not good at or don't want to do, so that you can form a cohesive team.